One of the greatest privileges I have as a priest is to minister to the sick and to the dying. It's a privilege and is a grave responsibility, one that I take with the utmost reverence and gratitude to God. It is humbling for a priest who in some cases is a stranger, welcomed into the life of a person who is going through some of the worst fear and anxiety of their life as they deal with serious illness. It's also humbling for a priest to be welcomed into a family's life when a loved one is in their last days. But being a representative of Jesus Christ and bringing his mercy in our ministry, priests have this wonderful moment to bring a sacrament that many of us take for granted. The sacrament of the anointing of the sick, or as it used to be called, extreme unction. This is a sacrament in which the priest comes and in the healing ministry of Jesus, lays his hands upon the sick person and then anoints them with the sacred oil, the oil of the infirm. This sacrament recalls the mystery of Christ's healing power, the miracles that he did as he walked the earth and the miracles of his healing that he continues to do through his love each and every day. But it's also a comfort and a consolation for us to have our venial sins forgiven and to experience the life of God even when our human lives are filled with suffering. If you or someone you love is suffering from a serious illness or is going in for a major surgery soon, please call me at the parish to have your loved one anointed with the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. If you also have a loved one who is in their last days, who is dying, who is at home or in a hospital, please do not hesitate to give us a call here at St. Ambrose so that we can come and minister to your loved one. Friends, the sacrament of the anointing of the sick was given to us by Jesus Christ and continues to be passed down for 2,000 years through the ministry of bishops and priests so that we can communicate and help others to experience the profound love and compassionate mercy of our Lord in the real day-to-day -day life of our people. So please, friends, never take the sacrament of anointing of the sick for granted. And if we can be of service to a sick loved one in your life, to you, or to a loved one who is dying, please contact us here at the parish and we will be happy to come and share the gift of healing with you. May God bless you.